I've got a set of questions for you. Oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> the bike just fell, damn! Oh my god! Today we have another bike to review. This is the Pedal Force. I don't know what frame it is, but I'll probably ask you about it later. Um, I'm joined by Edwin, who messaged me on Carousel asking me to review his bike. The frame should be a 2012 to 2013 frame. It's a full carbon, uh, fully exposed, with no paint at all. Um, size of the frame is size XS, so size 48. Because me, myself, I'm 159cm, so there's no point of me going so high and so big either ways, uh, since I'll suffer. What group set is, are you running on on this bike? So the shifters, I'm running um, Shimano, Shimano Altegra 6800, the, sorry, 6700, the 10-speed. Um, for the front crank, I'm actually running Shimano 5700 um, uh, front crank. Um, for the cassette and the groups, the cassette and the um, derailleur, I'm running 5700105 as well. Um, brakes, I'm actually not sure what are the brands of that. I wish I know. I'm still trying to find out until today. And the handlebar is actually an FSA Compact. From what I believe, the length should be 420mm. From what I believe. Um, regarding the stem, it's a Ricci something, as I long time never searched it up. <laughs> I, I know why you don't know, because the, the logo has already <laughs> faded from the stem. <laughs> it looks like... I think it's 10 cm or 100 millimeters. It, it looks, looks like yeah, it. it seems like it. The lights and the mount, this is, I've never seen this on the road bike. It looks like a motorbike right now that you have two 800, I, I don't know, I see 800 here. What, what, how bright are these lights? It's a cat eye, right? Yes, it's a cat eye. It's a cat eye M800. Uh, um, yeah, thumbs two of them. And you can basically just blind anyone you like. It was at Marina Bay, and basically there's ridiculous amount of, um, people back then, uh, pre-COVID season. So back then I was using a uh, Cat-Eye Volt 400 full beam, times two, and I was being caught by LTA and let's say they asked me to turn it down. I'm running a Sally Italia uh, gel flow setter uh, that was given to me by my uncle actually. Right, the wheels, I'm running actually a fake FFWD F6R running um, Novitec hubs that actually came together with the bike. So the Novitec hubs are these originals? <laughs> Knowing that your wheels are not, I'm just curious if the Novitecs are original. They are original. What bells are these? This is a spur bell. Is it an expensive bell? It looks it very is, fancy. It is very expensive. <laughs> ah, can, you, can you give us a sound of that? Oh shit, that's, that's loud. <laughs> Right, um, the front train wing, if I'm not wrong, should be 52.39, if I'm not wrong. Regarding the back, it should be 11.25, What is the weight of the bike? It's around 8.8 to 8.9 kg around there, actually. I would extend, extend this thing over here in order to actually fit my 25 mils in it. If not, it's stuck on 23s. <laughs> wait, wait, you had to extend your rear wheel? That's correct. How? There's a barrel here. There's a barrel here which I had to adjust to pull the wheel uh, backwards a bit. Oh, okay. So this frame happens to have this uh, kind of... Uh, There's a barrel adjusting yeah, here, yeah. Right, because I don't think this is very common in any other frame. That isn't, yeah. What do you guys think about this bike man? Pedal Force, I've never I've never seen this bike or heard of this brand before. So let's uh, take a look at their corporate website. Okay, sounds like they are OEM producer and they are a group of companies in Taiwan. But they are a US company. Okay, I don't know what that means. I mean, I kind of read through this a little bit and I don't know man, it looks kind of sketchy and the way the website looks and i tried searching on uh, youtube for any reviews of this bike but i couldn't find any nothing much here in the home page let's go to products and road okay they have like six bikes here i think six frames uh, to be honest right i think the way this this website was put up was probably done overnight like the font of the the words i can't see it's why did they even choose blue in color but okay that's not my problem uh let's just take some random one let's i think usually the first frame that they 
put here should be the most expensive one so let's go ahead for that QS4 frame set for $750 oh, this is a pretty reasonable bike frame I think it comes in sizes 47, 50, 53, 55, 58 centimeters, pretty normal and the weight of this frame is 990 grams seems pretty okay I think most frames around this I mean not this price range but frames like this are around like 900 grams uh, BB86 is this a this is a rim brake rim brake frame as you can see there is the caliper bolt is in front over here let's check out warranty oh, it brings me to another site it's just a registry okay so it says here that the frame is warranted against any manufacturing defects in materials or workmanship for five years when purchased as complete professionally assembled bicycle or two years for frames when purchased individually okay so it says here two years just for the frames alone and five years for a complete bike if that's how i'm reading it correctly uh and you can also choose to group buy so what does this mean do i get like cheaper price uh, clicking group by goes nowhere custom configured bikes again I, is, is this my internet or what I don't see anything you can even go down to choosing the tube you made amazing man and they give you eastern wheels okay this is a one of a kind uh, website i've never really seen this before uh, okay then you also have fox alone seat posts it looks like a lego set kind of bike you choose what you want and just mix and match which is funny that's a wrap guys um thanks for watching the video hope you enjoy and like this kind of candid bike reviews um, as told by the bike owners themselves if you want more contents like this, consider subscribing to my channel and giving a like to this video if you enjoyed the production uh, of this video. And uh, again, if you dislike the video, then just give it a dislike if you think it deserves a dislike. Please share your comments with me as I enjoy reading all of your comments and what you have to say. If you live in Singapore and you want to showcase your bike here, then please do a, drop me an email. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.